Hallelujah. Amen and amen, brothers and sisters. We thank the Lord for the opportunity to see a new day. It's a, it's a privilege. Every day is a gift. It's a loan from the Lord. And we need to use each day according to his determinate counsel. We need to redeem time. As the Lord said, we redeem time. For the days are evil. And moreover, the day of days approaches near. And brothers and sisters, before we go into the mission report number six, the Lord dropped something in my heart. I want to just share with you real briefly of the bad. What is it? All through history, the Lord has wired in his remnant an understanding that this life we are, we are strangers and pilgrims. In a short while, it's over. And so we should never come to a place where we are just concerned with bread and butter or our stomach at today's issue. We should look at the bigger picture of eternity. And when we gather together as believers, one of the things we should do is always to comfort ourselves with the understanding that the day of the Lord is coming and the Lord is going to conclude all things and we're going to go into a better place. It doesn't matter how the, the Lord has blessed us, how wealthy, how appointed, how prominent. If you lose sight of the issues of eternity, something awesome, something terrible has happened. And so that's why in some of the scriptures, if you look at First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18, after talking about the first resurrection and the rapture, you know how Paul concluded, wherefore, comfort one another with these words, the words that the end is coming. And for those who are in Yeshua, it's going to end well. And then in First Thessalonians chapter 5, after the awesome release in verse 1 to 10, Look at what he said in verse 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. So our garden unto the Lord, part of the edification is to be reminded of things concerning the end of the age. And that's one of the things we do for some years now, International Missile Fellowship. Our annual teams are centered on asking believers, look beyond the now, look at tomorrow, prepare. Live today in the view of eternity. And even this year, the team was escaping the road to come. You know, we had a very great keynote addressed by Dr. Cosmos, the chairman of the governing council, you know, at the beginning of the year, second weekend, every second weekend of every year, we gather in the United Kingdom, the land of the meridian, the dividing line between east and west, so to say. The Global Gateway, the altar, Greenwich, meantime, and brothers and sisters, the Lord wants us constantly. If you're in the International Missions Fellowship, you are part of Global School of Ministry Training, the Global Advanced Mentorship Program, you are part of the work of the Global Missions Board, or the work of Africa Transformation Network, or even this our Facebook ministry right here, please remember the coming of the Lord is near. Is nearer than when we first began. begun. And this is no longer a cliche. The things concerning preceding his return are almost all in place. It's now a matter of the timing, which no man knows. And the Lord wants us to live in such a way that we are constantly conscious of this reality. On that note, I want to now share with you a few of other things, you know, in the mission to the United States. We're still trying to conclude the conference segment before we talk about other things. Father, help us even now to release that which transpired in this mission to D.C. and remind us constantly the days are almost due. And the time is going to be no more very soon. Let no one shake off this reality, for it is truth. In Yeshua's name, amen. And so, brothers and sisters, the conference, the International Business Fellowship USA conference, first time in five years because of the COVID situation, the lockdown, and since then trying to grasp. And so, about this time last year, things were terrible. So, a vision. 
of a cobra or so caught around, squeezing life out of what we now saw was an attempt of the enemy to snuff life out of the fellowship. We called for prayer. We got into prayer. And I believe the Lord had our prayer. The Lord had prayer. And what we saw was life again. So International Missus Fellowship ended the first phase and began the second phase right there at this conference. We talked about the first day. Second day, we talked about a part of it. And even on the second day, we also had some release of the word. They came, you know, by the grace of the Lord, the heavens were open. The Lord released his mind. And then the third day, which was Sunday, you know, we all gathered. And listen, only a tiny fraction left as is normal in conferences because of their flight. The vast majority planned their flight for later in the day. So we're able to finish, receive the word of the Lord from different vessels, the elders, you know, the board of trustees, the advisory council, the executive committee, and all the vision holders. The Lord brought what he wanted to bring forth to the people. And by the grace of the Lord, the conference ended on an extraordinary note. The end of an era, the sixth national president, Apostle Sheldon Southland and Lady Deborah, our Friendship Community Church in Greensboro, North Carolina, officially finished and handed over the mantle to the seventh national president, Prophet Jeremiah Shepherd and Pastor Brittany Shepherd. And then it marked a generational shift. 72-year-old handing over to a 39-year-old. Can you imagine the gap? The gap. The gap. Brothers and sisters, that was awesome. And it signifies something the Lord has been telling us for some years, which we have been working on systematically all over the fellowship. We say, hey, don't leave the youth behind. So we have a youth and next generation directorate headed globally by Pastor Dupa Adefel of uh, World Fountain Christian Ministries in Oxford, in the UK. You know, and then all the national chapters say, have a vibrant now uh, generation uh, uh, directorate that deals with both the children, little children, then the young ones in primary school up to 11, and then those from 12 to 18, 12 to 17, and then those 18 and above. And even by the grace of the Lord, for past grace tonight, the Lord even told us we have a now generation master class for those 18 to 39 years where they are t trained and prepared for ministry to be able to handle it not when we have left, but while we are here. And by the grace of the Lord, Prophet Jeremiah and Pastor Brittany, they did a master class. They are doing well as pastors of uh, God's Promise Restoration Center, which their parents, Apostle Ron and Pastor Janda, the Lord used to establish many years ago. And they are doing well as senior pastors there. And they are, you know, one of the, the now generation, uh, sorry, the, the um, director of, Youth and next generation of IMF USA, Pastor Tavon Green and his wife, Miss Akisha, were also to serve or, or, or inducted to serve as deputy national president. In other words, IMF USA is going away. Others have not come. None has come to. That is the now generation are now in the driving seat by the grace of the Lord. And most of the officers, apart from a few, are just now generation. That's the way to go. And does it mean the seniors are now out of the picture? No. They now go into advisory council, a board of trustees, to sit as elders at the gate and pray, intercede, and also give counsel to the younger ones. And that is something I think is extraordinary. The Lord is just saying something to the body of Yeshua. It doesn't matter what network, it doesn't matter what fellowship, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. We need to make it that these young people are not on the side, they are not there somewhere there, you know, we are not there as uh, bosses to them. No, we are colleagues, as Pastor Tavon rightly said. That's the position. We are brethren, brethren in Yeshua. And this is something that all elders, we need to have a mind renewal and a heart transformation so that we can see them the way the Lord sees them, 
And we are not going to be too concerned about some of those little things that they are still perfected. How long did it take us to be where we are? How long? How long can we ever think of our processes? Uh, some, someone like me, the process took the Lord. I was in the world, totally in the world. The Lord delivered me with a mighty straightforward hand and threw me into a holiness denomination. And there the Lord began to do what only he can do. But did it end there? Process, process, process. A little here, a little there, a little there. So where it has pleased the Lord to bring me in terms of attitude and lifestyle and outlook, I should be patient when people are going through their own process. And so the Lord wants our elders anywhere in the world. Let's begin to embrace the young people, what's and all. Let's begin to look at their determine, the determinator counsel of Elohim for them. Let's begin to look at the future. And so it was the note on which we ended. IMF USA ended with a dispensation. And IMF USA ended, I mean, began, 2.0 began. And we expect something unique to happen through them. Even this morning, a few, just less than one hour before now, the Lord dropped in my heart something that was so vital we need to do to support this new leadership that were put in place so they can be who the Lord wants them to be, accomplish what the Lord accomplished, uh, wants them to do, and also be able to go to the nations of the world and challenge other young people. It would be wonderful to see all these young people in IMF USA do strategic traveling. The Lord has given us access to six continents of the world where we have people. And so it will be wonderful for these young people go to Europe, go to Asia, go to Africa, go to Australia to challenge the young people, to challenge the elders. And it's something so wonderful. So we're just so grateful that we're seeing this real time. And the mission ended on a beautiful note. Fellowship, Kononia, like I told you two or three times, the, the, the fact of how the brethren from First Law, Pastor Niral and Prophet Osi came, and for the first time, even though we and them have been connected for many years, but in terms of IMF, this was their first. They drove all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma to D.C. and hit the ground running, fitted in, took their place in worship, in ministering the word, in interaction, in, in ministry. There was no, we are old comers, late comers. No, the Lord had taught us that. Pastor Grace had taught it extensively about a parable of the man who went to recruit people to serve in his vineyard. And there's no reason anybody should feel offended or fearful or insecure when you see vessels the Lord brings in at any time it pleases him. And that's one thing he fitted into the IMF you know, uh, 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 standard that there's no newcomer. There's no young young uh, adult. He a member of the fellowship, he a member. We are brethren. And so by what every joint supplies, as we're told in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 16, the body makes increase of itself in love. There's so many things I do not understand. He let in a moment my son would sort it out. There are many things. I mean, this pro what we are doing right now is because he has is there serving, volunteering, making sure, setting up the home studio, all that. There are thousands of one. I'm not technical. I'm just not technical. People can't believe this. And he puts it up together, rigs it up. Without it, we can't serve you. As a matter of fact, most of what we do is because of the grace of God upon elect. And he's been diligently doing that. You know, serving the Lord quietly, no one knows. But the truth is this, he's taking a major part in this work. Very major part indeed. And he's a man of the word himself. When the time he ministers the word in London, the brethren are richly blessed because right from when he was young, the Lord's hand was upon him. So let's learn to respect these young people. I mean, there are many things I cannot do. Favor will fix in a moment. Electrical things, electronic things, favor will fix in a moment. You know, things that, practical things of life. And so also all of them, and brothers and sisters, this generation, we must 
welcome them with open arms. We must be willing to lay tracks for them to run. Put our shoulders for them to stand and see further than their generation. Give them a lift. Believe in them. Brothers and sisters, this is the challenge of the moment. And I'm, six, I'm going to be 68 in the next few months. November 26, I'll be 68. You know what? My generation, we are inching towards the last lane of our pilgrimage. And one of the things we must ever be open to is the reality the Lord has people, generations of people. We've got to look for them. We've got to bring them up. We've got to enable them. We've got to encourage them. We've got to speak into their life. We've got to train them. And so if you have young people, please, you believe the Lord's hand is upon them, send us an inbox with their names or write an email. The Now Generation Masterclass meets every Saturday. 6.30 UK time. Dr. Ben and his wife, Minister Hadiza, they are the directors of the master class. Pastor Grace and I will teach in the class. And please, you can refer the young people. Let them do the now generation master class. Nine months of intensive training. And they are released. They are commissioned to serve the Lord. Why would the young people, even when they are in college, yesterday we told about Chelsea. You know, Chidapa in Zimbabwe, she had finished her secondary school, one year to her university. Instead of wasting it, she enrolled for the master class. You know what it did? It prepared her that she went to South Africa for her university education, and she was operating like an adult because her mind was renewed, her heart was transformed. She was able to even get a job to be able to sustain herself so that her mom, who is a widow, will not be under stress. It helped her. When we saw her last year, she told us you could see the confidence in her because the training had prepared her for life. And by the grace of the Lord, if you are a minister of the gospel, please, if, you are, if the Lord leads you, come alongside with us, International Ministers Fellowship. You can just you know, enroll at the www.imfministers.com. You don't pay a fee for anything. Nobody's going to ask you. Even our licensing is free. What you pay is for the production of the, of the license. That's how the Lord taught us. And if you are not, please, there, is a, there must be a fellowship of the remnant around you. Please, anywhere, connect. If you're in Oklahoma, connect with a, a prophet, uh, I mean, Pastor Neral and Prophet Jose Bonnet of First Love Assembly. If you're in Tosla area, and brothers and sisters, you are in you are in Texas, you know, Kilgo area, surrounding areas, GPLC is there, you're in Dallas, you know, Christian Fellowship World Outreach Ministries is there. So also different parts of the UK. We're going to produce a directory. So that if you're a remnant of the Lord, you are looking for where you can receive healthy diet without any poison inside. You know that there is a place you can turn. And we ourselves we experience the love of Elohim from the brethren. We'll give a testimony about that. Even now, our children, two of them are in the USA. They're experiencing brethren. Somebody opened the door of a place for them to stay for a night in the Bronx on their way to a camp. A family, the upper child, Apostle Didi and uh, uh, Pastor Julia, said to favor, oh, come and stay with us. She's with them in Connecticut right now. Apostle Sheldon and Pastor Deborah are already preparing to receive them. When they come on Monday to be with them in North Carolina, so Disney can go to his camp and Favor will be with them in their home and they will take them to the airport and they will go back to New York from there to here. Fellowship is real. A living, loving organism. Not organization. Not only when we meet on our meeting days, interaction, being there for one another. Apostle William Spence and Lady Kenya Spence, Pastor Kenya Spence, opened their door to receive a couple from Jamaica who came for their program, one from Kenya, and then, uh, you know, uh, Apostle Thomas Olamu, president of IMF UK, stayed with them throughout the period, about two weeks in their home. They took care of him, drove him to the conference and back. This is the kind of thing we're talking about. 
fellowship where people have never known each other. They meet, they con fellowship, connect, and build healthy kingdom relationship for the glory of the Father. Brothers and sisters, something is at foot. This is the work of perfecting the church for the day of the trumpet. When I came to Texas, you know what? Minister Taylor McCarry was at the airport to receive me and destiny. Take us to our home. Minister Jackie took care. I even had time to swing on their swing by the Lake Macari. You know, all those kind of things. Apostle Ron was coming back, so they took care. And that's something precious. I want to encourage you. If you're going to be part of this fellowship, make up your mind. Let's break the outer self where pride and ego and all that are so that we can be real and connect with one another. And by what every joy supplies, the body makes increase of itself in love. We are strong. We are better together. And this is something I want to say about this conference as we wish Prophet Jeremiah and Pastor Brittany and uh, Pastor Tavon and uh, Minister Keisha and all the team. We wish them the best. We pray for them. But what I received today, something practical we the idols should do. Board of Trustees, advise the council and brethren of goodwill. Going to share out a, a memo. Wait out for something that just definitely going to send to you if you are in leadership or you love the fellowship. I want to share what the Lord said we should do to, su to support this awesome team the Lord has brought into responsibility to drive the seed of IMF USA and show the way other national chapters should be thinking, should be going. Let's pray. Father in heaven, the great I am who I am, we bless you for the opportunity to receive from you this awesome work you have done and you are yet doing in the United States of America and which is a model for brethren across the world to follow. We say, have your way. Challenge us with these words. Empower us with these words. Stretch us with these words and enable us to come out of ourselves and to be able to discover the beauty of the body and, be, and as we discover May we be instruments of helping each other to remember that the day is approaching so that we do not get stuck in time. Have your way, O oh God. In Yeshua Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching. And we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook, Monday, all the way to Sunday, every day, by about 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's the same at Nigerian time. And you, it's either Apostle George, Monday to Friday, uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace, uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website, www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.